Coming up on Inside Lee University Basketball, we'll have highlights of two big wins for the Lady Flames and a big conference win for the Flames, as well as a trip to the nationally ranked Mountain States team up in Beckley, West Virginia. Not only will we have highlights, but we'll also have the trip for you as well. We'll also take a look at the Lee baseball team, ranked number two in the country. All that and much more coming up. Stay with us. Welcome, everybody, to this week's edition of Inside Lee University Basketball. I'm Randy Smith. Marty Rowe, the women's coach, is joining us first of all today. Two big wins to talk about, Marty. And you have wrapped up the top seed for the tournament. Mm -hmm. And you were one win away from just claiming the outright championship or, or so in the next few games. So a pretty big week for you. Yeah, it was a good week. We've got a two-game lead now with two games to go. And we hold the tiebreakers over, over everybody in that situation. So... Um, being the number one seed and, and wrapping up a, 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 an automatic berth to the national tournament, it's a nice feel, uh, you know, especially mm -hmm. doing it this early in the year. But uh, uh, this is a big week. We've got, we play two of the best teams in the conference with Barry and Shorter coming up. So obviously we want to end on a good note going into conference tournament time. We don't want to go in uh, with losses. We want to mm -hmm. go in playing well and try to, try to get two more wins this week. First game is a road game, the women at Reinhardt. And let's take a look at those highlights now. You know, Ryan Hart's really been struggling, and uh, you know this was this was a game. Yeah, to be honest with you, it kind of scared us. It was our fourth uh, road game in a row in seven days, actually, and and uh, you know we beat them really badly here. Shot the ball really well, and so I knew that they would play hard against us. And you know they played zone almost the entire game, and, and we were a little passive, but but we did enough. You know our ball movement was decent at times. Uh, um, you know, and, and, and again, we, we played just well enough to get, uh, you, you, you know, to get everybody involved. You can see us right here moving the ball a little bit, uh, getting the ball in the corner. That's the Messina knocking one down. Um, you know, Ron Hart struggled this year at times. Uh, they had a big win this weekend, though. They beat uh, Emmanuel College, uh, which was a, a big win for them. But, you know, I mean, uh, when you're playing, uh, Coming off of a long road trip, you never want to take anybody for granted. And, and, and I thought we at least competed and played hard. I'm not sure how great we played. You know, I, I think we played good enough, uh, obviously, to get, a, get the win. And, you know, the other key is we were able to get everybody involved. I mean, we played all, you know, all, all 14 people uh, that dressed, played, um, got to play quite a bit uh, as far as minutes and stuff goes there. And, and it was always nice, especially coming off again you know, four games in seven days, you know, we wanted to be able to get our starters out and, and the people that uh, play a lot for us and, and get a chance for, for them to, to get off their feet a little bit. You see a nice pass from Carrie Harris to, uh, to Katie Nelson. And, uh, you know, uh, again, you know, getting a chance, there's Je Jennifer Paul, getting a chance to get deep in our bench in this game and, and let some people get some game experience was really nice. Again, another nice move by JP. Um, and you know, we just that, that's that's exactly how we want to, you know, finish games up right there. Is, is, is the end of our bench kind of taking care of it and stretching the lead out, and they did that. Final score in this one, 69 to 42, a big, big road win for the women against Reinhardt and Coach. Uh, you've got a situation now where you're one win away from wrapping up that automatic berth. Mm -hmm to the national tournament, the regular season championship in the conference. You got two games left. That's a pretty big opportunity. Yeah, it is. I mean, we want, uh, you know, you know, we wanted to, to, to take care of our, our, our home court, you know, coming back and having now Reinhardt, you know, or not Reinhardt, I'm sorry, be, just be Reinhardt, having Bernal mm -hmm. this week, this past weekend, you know, we knew we'd have an opportunity to sew things up a little bit right there. And so we wanted to take care of our home court. We hadn't been at home in like a couple of weeks. And, mm -hmm. and so it was really big for us to play well in front of our home fans on Saturday. So the home game with Bernal also was the pink zone as the 
Lady Flames dressed in pink and even Coach uh, Rowe had a pink vest on as they're trying yeah. to make everybody aware of breast cancer awareness. I think we raised, uh, I think, uh, you know, the final total is not in, but I know we're right at about $1,000 as far as what we're going to be able to donate. And with not having a double header in this game, mm -hmm. it just, it, it, there's, there's you know, my Sharp wife. Sharp looking vest. I have to give my wife credit for that. Yeah. She helped me find that. But, uh, um, you know, with it not being a doubleheader, guys were on the road. Uh, we had baseball going on. You know, it just happened that this was the week that we needed to have it. We had, like I said, we hadn't had a road uh, a home game in a while. And so with that going on, we had a nice crowd to come out and watch us play. Uh, you know, we had a lot of people uh, that uh, that supported us. Uh, we had one of the sororities on campus that, that stepped in and, and, and did a great job for us, helping us with all our, our sales of uh, different items and T-shirts and different things. And, you know, it's, it's really nice to, to get people, you know, our team especially, to get them involved in something so important, you know, uh, to women's athletics. Uh, and then, you know, we played pretty well in this game. You know, uh, you know to have all those kind of pre-game festivities and, and things going on, to, to at least be able to, uh, you know, to, to be able to concentrate and play good basketball is the other thing that you want to be able to do. And we were able to do that. You know, Bernal's a nice team. They've won nine games in the conference. They're in sixth place. Uh, they've won 16 games this year. They've beaten everybody right below us. They've beaten all Montgomery, Barry, and Shorter this year. Mm -hmm. So they're a very quality uh, uh, team, and, and, and we needed to play well against them, and we did. You see Dean making a nice move here. We moved the ball, shot the ball well. Defensively, I'm not sure how good we were, but you know, Bernal uh, uh, really makes you makes you really guard them because they play so many different lineups as far as you know having sometimes five guards on the court. So you can see us make an extra pass there, and a nice little back door from Katie uh, from Howie to Katie right there. So again, we did a good job. You know, uh, had five people in double figures this game, which is always a good sign for us. 84-73, an 11-point home court win for the Lady Flames, and big, big game for Brooke McKinnon with 27 points as she hit 10 out of 17 from the floor and hauled in five rebounds. Well, do you look do you look forward or you try to uh, guard against overconfidence in the last two games, knowing that you've got the top seed wrapped up, you're going to the national tournament. Is there something there that you guard against? Or yeah, you just... I mean, you know, this time of year, I think every coach is a little bit concerned with maybe complacency or, or being satisfied mm -hmm. with where we're at. And I don't think that's the case right now. We want to, you know, we're going to work hard this week. I mean, we've tried to, you know, over the last, really the last two weeks, we've tried to embrace it like a national tournament run. You know, mm -hmm. hey, this is, it's going to be hard every game. And really, you know, outside the Reinhardt game, you know, where we jumped on them, every game we've had so far in the last couple of weeks has been a struggle and, and we've had to really fight for it. That's going to be the same case this week, you know, with Barry and Shorter, we have no time to relax. And I think, you know, it's, it's a good thing that we're playing those two teams or maybe our team would relax a mm -hmm. little bit. So uh, hopefully we understand that we, we can't take a day off or, or can't take, uh, not take a game off this, this time of year and, and, and we'll continue to compete and, and, and try to get better over the next week or two. All right, Coach, good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. That does it for the women's portion of the show. Stay with us. We'll be back with more Inside Lee University Basketball right after this.